You don't have to be a fascist or a racist or even a Trumpian to not want to import people into your society who think cartoonists should be killed for drawing the profit, right? right. That's a, a totally rational thing not to want. And the left has been demonizing anyone who will talk about this. The moment you're using violence to prevent someone from speaking, you are on the wrong side of the argument by definition. How is that not obvious on the left at this moment? I mean, you're going to, what, burn down your own university to prevent someone from expressing views that you could otherwise just criticize? All of these protests were seen in response to right-wing or quasi-right-wing speakers being invited to college campuses by, I'm sure, the, the campus Republicans. These are so uncivil and unproductive. And again, this is enti almost entirely a phenomenon of the left. If you, I mean, if you heard generically that some college campus had erupted in violence because a student mob had prevented a lecture from taking place, and the people who wanted to hear that lecture were spat upon as they tried to enter the hall and finally attacked, you could bet with, what, 99% confidence that this was coming from the left. But I actually think the left is irredeemable at this point. And this is why I've begun to use the phrase, the new center. I think we need a new center to our politics. Of course, it's no accident that the Women's March, which otherwise seemed like a great thing, was vitiated by its alliance with Linda Sarsour and these closeted and semi-closeted Islamists who have co-opted the women's movement and convinced millions of women, apparently, that the hijab is a sign of women's empowerment. That's fairly mind-boggling. Just so there's no confusion on this point, I think you, dear listener, should be free to wear the hijab if you want to, but you should also recognize that most women the world over who are veiled to one or another degree are living that way not out of choice or certainly not out of what could be considered a free choice. They're living in the context of a community that will treat them like whores or worse if they don't veil themselves, right? That's not the political empowerment of women. And someone like Linda Sarsour, again, one of the principal organizers of the Women's March, is a theocrat who lies about this, who attacks Ayan Hirsi Ali. This is how the left will die, by, on the basis of its own moral relativism, locking arms with Islamism and stealth theocracy, uh, which is what it has done.